Dane Hain. I'm the Emergency Radio Communications Manager for MAC 911 out here in Grant County, Washington. My role includes responsibilities for uh, emergency communications, radio communications from the consoles here in the dispatch center uh, to the sites out in the field and then finally to the first responder radios so they can make sure and have communications from our dispatchers uh, to our first responders in the field. We're in rural America, so we've got a lot of area to cover. We certainly didn't have a very good emergency radio communication system. It was way underbuilt, which means we didn't have enough sites, uh, we didn't have enough frequencies, we didn't have enough channels, and we certainly didn't have enough feature sets. We had to move, and we knew we had to move in a new direction to get out of where we were. When we were looking for a vendor solution, we were looking for several things, such as value, such as expertise, such as ability to perform, and we were also looking for a vendor to create a partnership. So through those decision points and that decision process, we chose Tate. We wanted something that was standards-based, that was um, commonly accepted through the public safety industry. And so that's why we went with P25. Moving forward, we took uh, a two-step approach. Uh, first, we needed some level of interoperability with our neighbors, so we implemented a QS2 VHF analog simulcast system. That provided us uh, the ability to keep interoperability with the eight counties that surround us. It provided us the ability to keep some of our VHF analog functions uh, moving forward, such as uh, two-tone paging for fire. Uh, the second step was the implementation of a P25 800 megahertz uh, trunked uh, simulcast system. As a public safety agency, one of the things we want to ensure is robustness of our emergency communication system. When everybody else has trouble, 911 better not have trouble. So we have to design for failures and redundancies and several layers of failures and redundancies. So in our design process with Tate, we spent many, many weeks going through the designs and analyzing fail modes and implementing equipment, implementing configurations, and implemented really a design philosophy that avoided many single point failures. Implementing the P25 system out here, uh, a number of extra sites. We, we've gone from four sites to 11 sites now, so our coverage has improved. Uh, the audio quality, because of the digital voice, is much better than the analog voice. And then certainly we have a, a number of new feature sets that we have never had before. One of the reasons we chose Tate was the value-based solution that Tate provided. For instance, we got complete VHF system, complete alphanumeric paging system, new console systems, complete trunking systems, infrastructure, subscribers, services, network management for a value that was under our budget. We had a number of other value items from Tate, such as spare parts, training, that were all included in the proposal that increased the value of that choice. You know, I, I've been in this business a long time and I've done a lot of projects, a lot of big projects, a lot of contractual, a lot of multi-million dollar projects. And I would say that it's easy when there's a disagreement or a shortfall to uh, hide behind a contract or start throwing attorneys at each other. But with Tate, we, we've got a relationship. Tate is probably the best partner I've ever worked with on any of these projects. It, it's, um, it's an open-ended conversation on both sides. Um, you know, Mac isn't asking for anything outside the contract, anything more than what we asked for in the beginning, but uh, we still need things to work operationally in the field for our users, and, and Tate has been a great vendor in receiving our feedback, uh, improving the product or implementing the product to meet our needs.